Kentucky has a long and storied sports history, and for once, we're not talking about horse racing or basketball. We'll throw the spotlight on just a few examples tied to artifacts here at the Kentucky Historical Society. Well, we can't begin a conversation about Kentucky sports without thinking about Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali, I think, represents how Kentucky sports elevates itself beyond that of just the, the exploits and the, and the successes that they have in their, in their respective sport. Muhammad Ali is born in Louisville, 1942. Uh, he's actually named Cassius Clay after his father, who himself was named after the 19th century abolitionist. So what a wonderful connection to make to the passion and career of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali has lots of successes in the ring. He has six Golden Glove championships in Kentucky. He's a national Golden Glove winner. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He shocks Sonny Liston at the age of 22 in his first of three world heavyweight championships. But Ali goes on to use this fame for a much larger story and passion. Uh, he's outspoken about uh, civil rights and his worldwide leadership in civil rights is probably what we remember him most. So obviously Muhammad Ali is a Kentucky sports legend, a Kentucky treasurer, and we have some of his items here at the Kentucky Historical Society. We have his white boxing robe and gloves, and the robe is embroidered with Muhammad Ali uh, stitched into the side of the robe. So while the Ali robe is one of the most iconic items that we have in our collection, sometimes history is also being told by other items. Uh, for example, we have the boxing robe of Bill Caskey, who serves in the Navy and comes back after his service and actually trains in the same boxing gym in Louisville that, that was with Muhammad Ali. Did they spar together? We don't know. They were in different weight classes, but we do know that, that Bill Caskey and Muhammad Ali were training together. We have many Kentucky sports legend uh, items here at the Kentucky Historical Society. For example, we have the SEC Memorial Coliseum basketball floor where Rupp's teams would have played upon. Uh, we also have Olympic gold medals uh, from, from Kentuckians who participated in the Olympics. Uh, many items that you have to come down here to the Kentucky Historical Society to take it all in. To learn more about these Kentucky sports artifacts, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.